I know that being diagnosed with UC can be overwhelming, but having an accurate diagnosis can put you on the road to proper care and management. Miranda started complaining that she was bleeding. We took her to her doctor because this had not improved. The doctor ran tests and said, well, we need to get her immediately into Children's Hospital. Let's gradually come back with some more tissue. Colonoscopy and biopsy are really the test that establish the diagnosis of ulcerative colitis. Doing okay, sweetie? We take very tiny samples in different regions of the intestine. That gets sent to the pathologist who examines that under the microscope to confirm what we see. Uh, the pathology and the biopsies that we took are consistent with ulcerative colitis, which is what we thought going in. Uh, ulcerative colitis is inflammation limited to the large intestine. Because this disease is limited to the large intestine and causes colon inflammation, almost all patients start with diarrhea or blood in the stool. Is this something that will be with Miranda forever? It's a long-term chronic illness. What I mean by that is, in essence, you do have to be prepared that it's going to be with you the rest of your life. You know, our goal as doctors is to get it under control with our current treatments and hopefully keep it under control and keep it in what we call remission. That means no pain, no diarrhea, no bleeding. What causes ulcerative colitis? We don't know yet. You know, it's an area of active research. We know that there's inflammation. That means that when you look under the microscope, you see lots of different cells that fight infection attacking your intestines. So for some reason, the body is reacting against its own intestine. Around the time of the initial diagnosis, I ask the patient and their family to meet the various members of our healthcare team. I'm Laurie, I'm one of the nurses. Hi, Laurie. These can include our nurse specialists that help us manage different aspects of pediatric inflammatory bowel disease and educate patients, social workers who help us in dealing with the various stresses that accompany having a Great. chronic illness. All right, well, feel free to call me if there's anything I can do to, to help. Nutritionists will review diet and monitor growth, nutrition, and assess adequate intake of calories. Any of these things look like something that would work for you? You'll see our nurse educator, and she'll come in with some additional information. Hey, Tracy Soslowski, nice to meet you all. I'm an inflammatory bowel disease nurse educator, and Dr. Busfaros just asked me to meet with you today to discuss a little bit more about the diagnosis and to try to answer any additional questions that you might have. So before I start, I, I'd like to ask Miranda if you could tell me a little bit about what you know about ulcerative colitis. Um, all I know is that it's something in the colon, <laughs> I guess, that's causing the bleeding and swelling and inflammation. and. It's very painful. That's a great explanation. So ulcerative colitis is uh, a form of inflammatory bowel disease. And inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, is characterized by inflammation. In it's a chronic but very manageable condition. Uh, it affects everyone a little bit differently, but for the most part, kids respond quite well to treatment. Mm -hmm. It's important to, to recognize that there's a wide variation in disease activity. Some patients have more mild disease and others tend to have more significant disease and, and really anywhere in between. There's about 1.4 million Americans with inflammatory bowel disease and about 10% of those are children or young adults. So you're certainly not alone in this. I also like to tell parents that uh, there's a lot of very successful people that have inflammatory bowel disease. You might not know, but there's a lot of famous actors, professional athletes, even some former presidents with inflammatory bowel disease. So you can do all of the things that you always wanted to do. Tracy came to her the last day in the hospital. She said, from now on, you are no longer Miranda the patient. You are Miranda the student, the violinist, the singer, the bassist. You are no longer Miranda the patient. And I think at that moment, it was a very freeing release from the burden of the disease. How can we get organized? 
I think that's the big question. Absolutely. We've put together uh, a resource binder for you guys to keep, and this has a lot of We have a binder that we use for newly diagnosed patients that just offers a lot of additional support materials uh, in a written format to help serve as a resource for the discussions that we've had with them in clinic. Well, it's really been a pleasure to meet you all. Um, you have my card and contact information, so don't hesitate to let me know in the future if you have any additional questions or concerns. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be in contact. Okay. Thank you so much.